Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be discussing on how to integrate Microsoft Intune with Azure Active Directory. But first of all, to be able to use Microsoft Intune, you need a Microsoft Intune license or you will need to give your user the Microsoft 365E5 license. So here, I'm using a Microsoft 365E5 trial account which is actually going to just last for like one month and you can see we have the, um, the um, availability to actually um, grant users, uh, grant over 25 users this license. And also we also have the subscription and Office 365 E5 license. So let me show you the difference between these two licenses because you will be thinking what's the difference between the Microsoft 365 E5 and, the Microsoft, and Office 365 E5. So if I go to my, let me just go to my Microsoft 365 admin center. Here, I have actually tried to compare some services. I, I just did as if I want to purchase the service from um, um, your products, purchase a service. So from there, I just decided to actually compare some of the E5 service. Here you can see we have the Microsoft 365 E5, we have the Microsoft 365 E3, and we have the My Office 365 E5. So if I scroll down, you can see that we all, they all have, they can install this on five devices and they all have um, Office apps. But the difference between them is the following. Here you can see they all have the collaboration and communication with Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint. But when I go to under Azure Active Directory, you can see that the E5, the Microsoft 365 E5 is, has a premium P2, they have a premium P1, and this does not have a premium. At all. And with the Microsoft Intune, you can see that the E5, the Microsoft 365 E5 has a Microsoft Intune, the E3 has have Microsoft Intune as well, while the Office 365 E5 does not have Microsoft Intune. And if I scroll down, you can see that if you go for the uh, Microsoft the E3, you can see we don't have the Azure Advanced Threat Protection, the Threat Intelligence, and some other options. While for the Office 365 E5, we have these options but we don't have the opportunity to use um, the Azure Active Directory and also the Microsoft Intune. So that's why I'm using the Microsoft E5 trial. So what I'm also going to do is um, I've also um, registered my domain name. If I go to uh, settings here and I click domains, So if I click domain, you can see that I've already purchased this domain name, which I've registered with my domain provider. And this is actually the default, the default domain name you receive from Microsoft when you register for a trial account, which is just called, this one is just called, it's going to be called on Microsoft.com. Probably you're going to have a name you've given to read. So for me, I'm going to be using um, my domain controller. Here I have a domain controller. Which I'll be using with my uh, for Active Directory. So I've already installed a new Windows uh, Server, which I'll be using to install the Azure um, Ade Connect. So what I'm going to actually do is, if for example you are only using this um, this domain name as your default domain name, and you have installed the Azure Active Directory with a different domain name entirely. Here you can see I'm using this domain name which is called the private ICT .be, but I've already registered this domain name in Office 365. But if you've not registered this domain name in Office 365 and you want your users to be able to actually log on to their device using this um, this domain name, what you need to do, you need to add that preference in your Active Directory domain and trust. So if I want to add my this domain name here in Active Directory and Domain and Trust, what I need to do is I need to go to the properties of uh, my Azure, my Active Directory Domain and Trust. Just click Properties, and here I'm going to add an alternative UPN surfaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Privé City Two dot on Microsoft dot com. So after adding the alternative UPN surfaces, just click Add and click Apply and click OK. 
So I'm just showing you how to do this should in case you don't have, I'm mean, only using that domain name in Office 365. So what you also need to do is to go to your users. So I've also created some users here. If Let me just double click this Steven John and I go to his account. You can see Steven John is using my default domain name in Active Directory. But if I want to change this account, I want to um, allow the Steven John to log on to uh, private uh, the on microsoft.com so i just need to change his account the proof is here and click apply and okay so next time if um stevie wants to log on to uh, active directory he will be able to log on to um, active directory using that proof is. and also which we should when we are syncing our um, on-premises um devices and users account to office 365 or to azure we should be we should have the opportunity to actually assign the users with that account with this preference to um, to actually use microsoft office um, 365 e5 or e3 licenses so what we're going to do next is to install the azure active directory connect so i'm going to actually do that in a in a, in a, in a in the next video so not to make this video very long my name is kelvin johnson thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video and please don't forget to watch my next video on how to install azure active directory on your windows server 2016 or 2019 and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video thank you very much and see you next time bye